If you're having trouble controlling how loud or quiet your keyboard sounds are, the velocity control is going to change your world. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it. Let's go. What is the velocity control? Well, it allows you to set a range of velocity or how hard the notes are hit between really soft and really loud. And it's able to be used on all of your keyboard instruments. Let's show you how to set it up. One, choose a keyboard instrument by going to the keyboard here, tapping on more sounds, going to your keyboards. Let's use the electric piano as an example for now. Two, if velocity is not already enabled, you'll need to turn it on. To do that, tap on the keyboard icon here and then make sure that velocity controls are enabled. Three, to adjust the maximum velocity, we use this top slider. So if we tap and hold, we can drag this down or up, and this tells the keyboard instrument the loudest the sound could be. With this right at the top, when we hit the keyboard hard, we can get nice loud sounds. If we dial this down, no matter how hard we hit the keys, they're going to be really quiet because this is setting a limit to the velocity of our keys. Four, we can also adjust the minimum velocity by using this slider. So this means that we can either have the maximum range of velocity or if we wanna make sure that we're not hitting the keys too softly, we can actually drive this all the way up to here and now. It's reduced the range of velocity right up to the point where if we bring this right to the top, no matter how hard or soft you hit the keys, you're going to get the same velocity. And you guessed it, you can drag it all the way down to the bottom if you want really soft, almost inaudible sound. So why is velocity sensitivity a useful thing to use? Well, the challenge with playing a keyboard on a touch screen is it's really hard to regulate how hard or soft you hit the keys at time. And velocity just lets you dial in exactly how loud or how quiet the sounds can be. So how I use this is to give it a floor to make sure that it doesn't go below, say about mid velocity, and also make sure it doesn't go to the absolute maximum or you get those kind of really loud hits so that when you're just playing a nice you can just get a nice sound in there that's gonna have a little bit of dynamic range in terms of its volume, but not so much. And yes, Velocity is available on all of your keyboard instruments, everything from the classical grand to your bassoon and even your synth sounds, which can be really good for things like pads where you wanna make sure that they're really soft and under your mix. And finally, once you've played in your sound using your velocity control, you can edit it. To do that, we need to tap, tap again, and hit the edit button. And then each different individual note, when we tap on it, we can tap velocity and dial in a different velocity. And we'll see that this one has been played a bit softer. And this one has been played a bit louder. If we want to adjust it, we just drag the sliders back and we can adjust our sound after it's been played in to correct any errors. There you have it, the velocity controls here in GarageBand iOS. Not as complex as you may have thought. I hope you found this useful. Check out the other videos down in the description and I'll see you next time.